Here at Sabrum, we have a wide range of SSDs that not only you guys love, but also push the market. And we have taken our expertise in SSDs to make this incredible Sabrum Rocket 2230 size SSD. So let's talk about it. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrum we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So before we get into the specs of this brand new small form factor SSD, let me show you what you get inside the box. This Sabrum Rocket 2230 blends new technology with a small form factor to provide something really reliable and fast for your devices. A lot of SSDs are 2280, meaning that they are 80 millimeters long, which is great for so many applications. However, when it comes to devices like the Steam Deck or a mini PC, these SSDs just don't fit inside them due to the compact nature of the electronics. So this Sabrum Rocket 2230 SSD is only 30 millimeters long, meaning that this is a great size for these kind of devices. But don't let the small size fool you because this thing packs a huge punch. This Rocket 2230 SSD is a PCIe Gen 4 SSD and uses the Fizon E21 controller paired with a Micron B47 NAN chip flash. This offers sequential speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second reads and up to 4,300 megabytes per second writes and pushing up to 800,000 IOPS. This SSD really wants to go some places. The flash is also designed to run cool and efficiently so that your devices don't overheat by upgrading your storage. Often you have to compromise with 2230 drives settling for embedded controllers and or QLC for capacity. Well, our Gen 4 controller offers gaming desktop class performance combined with efficient flash for the best experience. This is also DRAMless with HMB support, so it's extremely heat efficient as well. Many 2230 drives are limited in capacity, making life a little bit more difficult, especially when you're trying to build an extensive game collection or just trying to store a ton of files. Many devices come with limited internal storage, forcing you to pay a premium or rely on SD cards to use, like on the Steam Deck. So now you can store everything you want on one drive as the Rocket 2230 comes in at capacities up to one terabyte in size. Also, because the Rocket 2230 is available up to one terabyte in single-sided form factor, it will also be compatible for all of your device while offering plenty of storage capacity. It being single-sided was really important to us as we wanted to make sure that no matter what capacity you chose, it should fit like a glove in your devices. We know that many of you will be interested in this SSD for the Steam Deck and we will have content specifically for this application, but I will say that the performance in the Steam Deck with this SSD is incredible. Back in the Sabra Labs, we tested Steam Deck stock SSDs to see what performance a user could expect. And out of our testing, we just weren't impressed with the pre-installed SSDs that come with the Steam Deck. So in the lab, we tested using KDiskMark on desktop mode using the Steam Decks that they had there. KDiskMark, for those who don't know, is pretty much like Crystal Dismark, so you can get all the speed results that you need from the pre-installed SSDs. And let's just say we were very disappointed by the Steam Deck's performance. So when we installed our brand new Sabrent 2230 1TB SSD, we saw outstanding performance increases immediately. These performance increases made our Steam Deck a lot more responsive, had faster game load times, and general game-related experience was just improved with faster level and game element load times. And on top of all of those benefits, we include a free download of our Sabrina Cronus True Image software so that you can clone your old drive with ease, meaning that will save you a lot of headache when switching your old drive to this SSD. And also, this SSD will be supported with any necessary future firmware updates, ensuring future compatibility. If you want to go ahead and pick one of these drives up, I'll have links to the 
256 gigabyte, 512 gigabyte, and one terabyte drives down in the description below. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with more content like this. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.